Steam has a problem. Well, more of a problem with its API. See, over the past two years, I have worked very closely with Steam and their API over numerous projects, ranging anywhere from their achievements to their networking system and everything in between. Upon creating your Steam page, you receive what's called an app ID. This is how Steam recognizes your game as its game. So whenever I'm running my game that has my app ID attached to it, Steam will recognize that. So not only will my Steam say that it is running, but also it will notify my friends in the bottom right corner that I am playing this game. So that's great, right? Steam has a unique app ID that it will use to recognize my game and understand that I am playing that particular game. Except for how my game is telling it that I have that app ID. Yeah, when it comes to this, Steam is pretty loose with its security. The way that a game tells Steam that it has a particular app ID is just by a singular file, most times just a text file. So theoretically, if you were somehow able to get a game's app ID, you would be able to trick Steam into thinking that you were playing that game even though you're running a dummy project. In the dummy project, such as this one on my screen, you can unlock achievements and create lobbies as that game. But come on, I mean, you can't just get any game's app ID. Oh wait, you can. That's right by heading over to this public site known as steamdb.info. And trust me, they're not doing anything illegal. This is all publicly available information that they're just compiling into one website. And let's say we want to know the Steam app ID for Counter-Strike. We click on it. And right there it is. The app ID for Counter-Strike. So right now, I'm in the Steam app ID file of my project. And keep in mind, this is not exclusive to my project, Godot, or any engine. This is in Steam's API which means that if I change this to 730, which is the app ID for Counter-Strike, and I open up my project, and I press play, and we head over to Steam, and I'm doing this in real time, you'll see that Steam thinks I'm playing Counter-Strike. So what's happening is since my project has that app ID, it's just telling Steam, hey, I'm running this game with this app ID, and Steam's just accepting it. Now, if we look at Steam's documentation on achievements, we can see that you can simply set an achievement by typing set achievement and the achievement's name using the Steam API. And we can obtain these achievement names very easily, even hidden ones, by heading back over to Steam DB, clicking achievements, and here they all are. Back over to Steam now, you can see my locked achievements. Let's say I want to lock this one called Blind Fury. So now heading back over to Steam DB, I can press Control F, type in Blind Fury. And I find it right here, and here is the real name. So after I copy that, I'll head over to my project and I will reference that Steam API call by typing set achievement and then entering in that name as a string. Now, if I press play, FBI, open up! That's right, the achievement unlocks with no issue. Steam is perfectly fine with unlocking any achievement as long as you have the app ID and you own the game. And yeah, this works for any game on Steam, being that as long as you own the game, you can 100% that game without even playing it once. Now, I would just like to say, I am not condoning using this exploit or any exploit that falls underneath the same umbrella. Now, this video was purely for educational purposes only. I have personally contacted Steam regarding this exact issue, and I was then given permission to record this video for YouTube. So anyways, guys, I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.